Hey sweet friends, it's Angie and welcome to the Bumblebee Farmhouse, a place where I hope that you guys can find a little bit of inspiration to make your house a home sweet home. Today I'm going to take you along with us to look at some Christmas antiques. We'll do a vintage and vintage inspired Christmas haul and we'll also make some delicious wood fire pizza with an awesome pizza oven that was sent to me by TC Fundy. So I hope you guys feel like hanging out with me today and I'd love it for you guys if you guys could all join me for our pizza party, have a glass of wine with us and let's make some pizzas after we shop. This video is also in collaboration with my super sweet friend Sandy from The Cottage on Shope. So you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and link all of her information down below where you guys can check out her video after you watch mine. She's got some amazing Christmas finds. So this adorable antique mall is called Vintage Bliss. It's up in Beloit, Wisconsin. It's one of my favorite places to go antiquing because they have the booths fixed up so nicely. Um, it's really just staged beautifully the way that they have it. It doesn't look junky at all. And I love that sometimes they add a few new things to tie in with the olden um, vintage antiques and it just it just ties together so nicely they do such a great job i feel it getting close i feel the joy in the air everybody's going home to the people they care for the most and i'm on my way Cause you're my happy holiday na, 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 na. You're my happy holiday Hey guys, did you have fun antiquing with us? So I have some antique finds here. So I do have some vintage finds, but I also have some vintage inspired finds. Okay, so I did get some vintage thermoses, which I absolutely love. They are um, 
kind of expensive and a little hard to find sometimes, but now that it's the Christmas season, I'm seeing a lot more booths come out with um, displaying like the old um, uh, thermoses, the thermoses. So I have, I think it's two brands. The one I think is Aladdin and then the other one is the thermos brand or the thermo brand. And I don't even know if they have these brands still make thermoses, but I thought this would be so cute as part of a display next to like all of my Santa mugs, my, my whole Santa mug collection. Okay, so the first one I have is from the Aladdin brand. And this is actually quite large. So this, I think I paid, I took the tag off. I think I paid around 20 for this guy right here. It's quite large. Um, the good thing about these is I feel like they hold their value. Like you could resell them on Etsy or an antique booth and someone will scoop them up because these are quite popular. So this one is like a red, black, and like a cream plaid. And it's quite big, you can see. It's quite large. Okay, next up, we have another Aladdin Thermo. Therm thermo, thermos, I don't know. Anyway, I have two of them. So that's the big one that I just showed you. And then I have this one. This one was not a bad deal. It was $8. It's not super Christmassy, but it does have red. So I think it'll tie in really well. And this is probably like a medium size, not bad. This looks like it's from like, the 60s or the 70s. Maybe I'm wrong. Do you guys know anything about these? Let me know down below. And then I have two actual um, thermos from the brand Thermos. And like I said, do they still make these products? I don't know. I think I remember you used to get them in your lunchbox as a kid. Carry like a metal lunchbox or a plastic lunchbox. I remember you would have like a thermos in there. I don't know if it was from this brand, so I'm not even sure. But this is... I think I paid, I want to say 15 for this one. This one's like the perfect plaid for Christmas or winter or even fall. Um, this is a medium size. So I'm just going to use them just for display, but this is the Thermos brand. I really like the plaids. I like the mixture of the different plaids. Um, and then I got the little baby one and then I was able to find the bigger one. This is quite, quite large. This one I think was around 20 or 22. Um, again, I really like the colors on here. I think they're the exact same colors, but this one's just a lot bigger. It's got red, what is that, like yellow, black, and like a cream top. And this one has a handle on it as well. So that's all the thermos that I got. And then I have um, one more antique item before we get into the vintage inspired. And that is this really cute angel. She's really cute. And I don't know if these are homemade. I have a couple other pieces similar to this style, um, but I think this would be so cute on a Christmas display. I love that it's vintage. The bottom, it says Maria from Pat. So I'm guessing somebody made this, but I don't even care. I think it's amazing. I love the colors. I think it's super sweet and <clears throat> just like adorable 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 vintage um so i have a couple other pieces that kind of go um with this and i'll have it together in a vignette and if i can find more vintage pieces that are similar to this i would love to um collect some of those items i picked these items up at vintage bliss up in beloit wisconsin okay so now let's go ahead and get into the vintage inspired items that I picked up. I found some really cool things and I'm gonna show you guys. So a lot of people collect vintage Santa mugs, which I do too, but they're quite expensive and um, they're not that easy to find. The day that I went for the thermos and everything, there wasn't much left of the um, vintage antique Santa mugs. Either there's nothing left or they are just like ridiculously, ridiculously pricey. I'm talking like 20 to $30 per mug, if not even more, especially if you're looking for the um, Holt Howard brand or the, I think it's called Napco or Napco, I can't remember. But anyway, there's some, and I have a few of those pieces and they're very rare and I don't drink out of them. I actually don't really drink out of much of my Santa mugs, but you guys, if you guys get Santa mugs today 
in a few years, they're not going to be in production anymore because I feel like they're always changing the style and they will be considered vintage. So there you go. So I'm going to show you guys. I got three, four different styles of mugs. Now these are new, but they do look vintage and they are really adorable. So the first one I got was actually at the Vintage Bliss Antique Mall. So these are new, but they do have a very vintage flair to them. I think he is so cute. And um, yeah, this was $10. It wasn't, you know, ridiculously cheap or anything, but it is really adorable. And I was able to pick this up. I really like this. Um, the next ones that I got are from, um, Michaels. So I went to Michaels. I feel like Michaels brings a different style of Santa mugs each year. So I actually like the ones that they had this year. Other years, maybe not as much, but these are the ones I chose. I did pick up two of them and these are super adorable. Let me just show you. So they're normally $10 and they were 40% off. So I picked them up at $6 a piece, which is not bad at all. It's very doable. So again, I picked up two of these and they just kind of go with all of my, um, <clears throat> like my newer mugs and my actual vintage mugs. I like to kind of mix everything up. So I think that's like a nice little twist. These next two pieces, I ordered them online. I actually picked up four of these. So two of each style. Now these are like Holt Howard winking Santa mugs inspired. So these are really cute. Again, Holt Howard made mugs like these in the 1950s, possibly the 60s. So they're reproduction, so they're not actually Holt Howard, but they look like Holt Howard. I think the Holt Howard had like um, way more rosy cheeks, but they're really cute. So this one is the Santa with the eyes closed. So cute. And then I have the Winking Santa. And this looks exactly like the whole towered mugs from the 1950s. They're just adorable. Okay, so the next two pieces I got are Pottery Barn inspired. I actually have the Pottery Barn mug. These are way uh, more affordable, so way less expensive. And they're just as cute. So they're the reindeer mugs that you can get at Pottery Barn. They're almost, almost identical. Um, except Pottery Barn with shipping and tax, I paid like $20 per mug because there's not a Pottery Barn near me. These are from Big Lots and they're only $5.99. So I did pick up two of these. I think these are so darling. I love the vintage look of these. Um, these just make me happy. So I have the Pottery Barn mug and then I actually have the Pottery Barn bowl that matches with it but I thought I could add to it by picking these up and I think they're so cute and so affordable. So vintage inspire sometimes you guys is the way to go. Even though Pottery Barns is vintage inspired. So I did show this on my live that I did a couple weeks ago, but let me show it to you guys right now. This is absolutely adorable. It says Santa's Peppermint Shop made daily by Santa's Elves. Um, sticks, canes, taffy, patties, fudge, right? Is that what it says? Yeah. So cute. I really love the peppermint um, like stripe on the top with the Santa. I love how vintage this looks. So this would look really awesome. I think probably in a cocoa bar, even in a coffee bar, you can put, oh, that was loud. You can put like your, um, your, your coffee pods in here or whatever, or cocoa, whatever you want. This is so cute. I think this was a great find. This was only $3.99. And the last piece that I have is from Joanna Parker. It's a two piece towel, kitchen towel set. You guys, this is so cute. I'm gonna see if they have any other ones. So as you can see, there's two of them, one and two. I love the vintage snowman on here. How happy is he? These match my salt and pepper shakers, which I use for decor but this is adorable. These will not be used to be wiping your hands. These will be like the pretty kitchen towels that are only for your eyes and not for like actual use. Yes, I'm going to be one of those women that are like, 
Those are the like the good fancy towels. Don't use them. And then these were $7.99 for a two pack. So um, thanks for hanging out for this portion of the vlog. Now let's go on over and let's get to making some pizzas. So why don't you guys come and join us for our um, our pizza party? So I want to thank TC Fundy for sending me out this really awesome wood pellet burning pizza oven. Installation was a breeze. There was nothing hard about this at all, but I still made Danny do all the work. This oven is intended for use outdoors only. It comes with a pizza stone and it also comes with a scoop for your pellets. It also has a detachable chimney, so it's easy to transport and set up so you can move it around or store it away if you need to. And it can quickly come apart for easy cleaning. Um, it's really suitable for parties, family gatherings, barbecues, if you want to go camping. We just decided to have a little pizza party between the two of us. This pizza oven can get pretty hot. It'll heat up to over 900 degrees with the wood pellets, which is perfect for a Neapolitan style pizza because it should cook it in around a minute. If you have pizzas with toppings, you're looking at two to three minutes, which is still super quick. And it doesn't only cook pizza. You can roast steaks in there, broil fish, um, lamb chops, burgers, salmon, vegetables. You can roast vegetables. So there's so much you could do with it. I'm thinking I might try to make focaccia. I bet you it would turn out amazing in here. Locks are all frozen, and I'm choking on the smoke from the freeway. This city has grown old, I can taste all the rust on your lips. And you know I can't sleep, cause I traded my peace for that payday. Now I throw down my money and pray. But I can't see Angeline Angeline Do you see me? One foot out the door And my heart here Hanging by a string Archie, you want pizza? Angeline Angeline Won't you let your hair Get out of this town. Let's get out of this town. Let's get out of this town.
It's Monday through Friday And nothing but a breath on the weekend It's hellos and goodbyes And nothing much in between And we wander the streets of this city Hoping to feel something And we stare through each other Praying that we still believe Angeline, Angeline Do you see me? One foot out the door here hanging by a string Angeline, Angeline Won't you let your hair down Let's get out of this town Let's get out of this town Let's get out of this town So our pizza is ready and we're going to serve it up with a kale salad. We really like the pizza oh oven. You do have to work and move quickly because it does cook the pizzas um, pretty quick. But you guys, it made restaurant quality wood fire pizza that you can have at home at a fraction of the price in the privacy of your own home. And it was so good. I'm really impressed. I've never had a wood burning pizza oven before, but you guys, I think this is how we are going to do pizzas. And I think this would be fun for a pizza party if everybody made their own um, pizza because they literally cook within one to three minutes. Um, so everybody can get their own pizza done quickly and it just turned out so great. We're really impressed. We love it. Thank you so much for sending this out, TC Fundy. We had leftovers for about three days. We made so much pizza, but we figured since we would fire up the wood burning oven that we would go ahead and make lots of different pizzas. I am going to leave a link down in the description box and a coupon code where you guys can save some money if you choose to purchase this item. It would have been so much fun if we could have had you all over for a pizza party. So I want to thank you all for spending some time on my channel with me today. And as Dorothy Gale once said, there's no place like home. That's right, folks. Home sweet home. I'll see you in the next one. Sing a song